Good day Grade 11s, welcome to this next lesson in Euclidean Geometry. In this lesson we're going back to proving a proof which is going to be very very useful to you so please follow. It says the angle at the center of the circle is twice the size of the angle at the circumference. In other words, if you have this circle here, over here, and they, what they're saying is that the angle at the center of the circle is two times the angle at the circumference. So what you're given with each of these drawings, you're given circle with center O, and you've got arc AB, which subtends angle AOB at the center, and at the same time subtends angle APB. Subtends just means that it's making this angle. That arc is those two points from that arc make that angle. Now grade 11s, I've got good news for you, really. We, you'll notice that there are one, two, three drawings, which means there are three versions of this theorem, and unfortunately, you need to be able to prove all three versions. Now, actually, the good news is that actually, it's not too bad, because you use the same method all three times, but we're going to go through them each slowly to make sure that you can do it, and then you guys need to go and practice and make sure you can. So let's do the first one. It says again, given that circle with center O, there's your center O, arc AB subtends angle AOB at the center of the circle, and then we've got a also subtends APB, the angle at the circumference. And they want us to prove that basically this whole angle is half of that angle, or that that angle there is twice this angle. So because I've done this quite a few times, I know the tricks. I'm going to teach them to you. The first thing is what we're going to do is we're going to let this little angle here equal x. Okay, so we're going to be working initially in this triangle here. We're going to be looking at the triangle on the left. Okay, so if we look at this triangle on the left, we can say that we've got n triangle and we're going to say it's OAP, OAP, we're going to let angle A equal X. We're going to let angle A equal X. Now, you must realize that OA is a radius, right? Okay, that's a radius. And OP is a radius, right? Therefore, we can say that angle that AO is equal to OP. Why? Because they radii. But what type of triangle does that make this triangle? Because this side is equal to this side, this is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, we can say that this angle here is also equal to X. And why? Because base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So therefore, we can say, therefore, APO, APO, angle APO is also equal to X. Why? Base angles of isosceles, isos triangle. Right, and now what we're going to use is the fact that if you've got a triangle, on a straight line, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. That means that this angle here is equal to what? It's equal to x plus x, which is 2x. 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 Therefore, we can say, therefore, we can say that angle A, O, what is that, Q? AOQ is equal to 2XY, exterior angle equals sum, sum of two int opposite angles. And yes, grade 11s, you can summarize it like that. Now let's look at the triangle next to it. Okay, so let's use a green. So now we're going to look at this triangle. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. But remember, we don't know, and even if you look at this, you can see that the red triangle looks much fatter than the green triangle. Do you agree? That looks much taller or steeper or higher than that. So we don't know that this angle, for example, equals that angle. So this time, we're going to say in triangle OBP, OBP, 
we're going to say let b equal y. So we're going to let it equal y. And then because again this is a radius and this is a radius, okay, so we know that OB equals OP. Why? Because they radii. And because they radii, this means that this triangle is an isosceles, and therefore this little angle is X, sorry, is Y, Y. Therefore, we can say that angle OPB is equal Y. Why? Because your base angles of isosceles triangle are equal. And then again, again, using exactly the same rule that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles, this plus this has to equal 2y, so therefore that angle there is 2y. Therefore we have that triangle, I mean that angle QOB is equal to 2y and again it's the exterior angle equals the sum of the two int opposite angles, right? But have a look at this. Let me just change color so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to change to this color. Do you see that the whole of this APB A, P, B, is equal to x plus y, but AOB, AOB is equal to 2x plus 2y, which is a 2x plus y, which is 2APB. Therefore, we've proven that the angle at the center is twice the size of the angle at the circumference. How cool is that? Okay, so that's your most basic proof. And remember that they are going to give you your drawing. Well, they have to give you a drawing in order to do the proof. So they could give you this diagram. That's awesome. Or they could give you this one. And now we have to prove also the angle at the center equals twice the angle at the circumference. So this time we're going to start off by looking at this triangle here. So this is the triangle. We're going to look at that triangle first. So we're going to say in triangle OPA, we're going to see that, do you see that OA and OP are equal because they're radii? So this is equal to that. Agreed? Therefore, we can say therefore, hang on, we can say that OA, I haven't written it, equals OP, they are radii, right? So we're going to let angle OAP, OAP equal x, so that there is x, therefore angle OPA also equals x, y, base angles of an isosceles triangle, base angles of isosceles triangle, and then again because of the fact that this is the exterior angle, it has to equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Therefore, we've got that QOA is equal to 2XY, exterior angle equals int opposite angles. Okay, the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Now let's do the next triangle. Okay, and let's choose a blue. So now I'm going to do this triangle here. And again, this triangle doesn't have to be equal to that triangle, doesn't have to be congruent to do this. But you will see again that this is equal to this. Why? Because they are radii. So we're going to use the same technique. So we're going to say in triangle OPB, OPB. We're going to say that OP is equal to PB. Why? Because they are radii. Then we're going to say, okay, fine, we're going to let OPB, angle OPB, equal Y. So I'm letting this angle here equal Y. Therefore, 
therefore angle OBP, OBP equals Y, and why is that? What's the reason? It is base angle of isosceles triangle. Therefore, again, because the exterior angle is the sum of the two interior opposite angles, we've got QOB is equal to 2Y, because that's Y over there. Therefore, we've got O, sorry, QOB is equal to 2Y. Why? Because the exterior angle equals the int opposite angles. Okay, now if we look at this again, and again I'm going to change my colour so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm going to change to red. You will see that we've got the whole of this. Therefore we've got A, P, A, P, B, A, P, B is equal to X plus Y. A, O, B, A, O, B is equal to 2X plus 2Y which is 2 times x plus y, which is equal to 2 times a, p, b. Therefore, we can say that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Right, one more. Okay, so this time we're doing it exactly the same, but a little bit, the reason this one's a bit tricky is to see the triangle. So let's do the first one, which is obvious. We're going to look at that triangle there. Okay, that triangle there. So if we look at that triangle, so we're going to quickly write it in triangle, what is it? OPB. OPB. We know that OP is equal to OB. OP is equal to OB. Why? Because they are radii. I'm going to let, let OBP, OBP equal X, so I'm going to let this be X, therefore angle OPB is equal to X as well, why? Base angle of isosceles triangles, that's also X, and then if we look carefully you can see that this whole bit here, so the QOB is going to then be equal to 2x, QOB. So therefore, QOB equals 2x, why? Because of the exterior angle equals sum of two int opposite angles. Now let's change color and let's go to green. Now we're going to look at the next triangle. The next triangle is a little bit more complicated to see. It's this one here. Okay, that one there. And again, you can see that this is a radius and that's a radius. So therefore, we can say in triangle OPA, OPA, we've got that OP is equal to OI, OA, why? Because they are radii. Then we therefore let this teeny little angle equal Y, so angle OAP is equal to Y. Therefore, for the same reason, this teeny little angle over there is also equal to Y. Okay, so therefore we say therefore angle OPA, OPA, OPA is equal to Y. Why? Because it's the base angle of isosceles triangle. Therefore, and now you have to be careful, it's this dotted line going to the solid line here. So it is going to be QOA is equal to 2y and y because the exterior angle equals the int opposite angle sum. Okay, just another way of writing it. 
So now, and yes, with this, this is the only example that look, gets a little bit tricky. So this one is a little bit tricky, and I'm going to choose that color over there. So now, do you see that the whole of this is X, and the whole of that little bit there is Y? So if we were looking at the angle being subtended by this arc, the angle being subtended by that arc is actually going up here, and down, back down to there. So therefore, angle APO is actually equal to the whole of X minus this tiny green bit, which is Y. So that's X minus Y. And similarly, if you look at the angle at the center that is being subtended by this arc, you can see that angle AOB Okay, so there we, that's supposed to be a B. Okay, AOB is going to be the whole of this, which is 2X, minus the tiny green bit, which is 2Y. So this is equal to 2X minus 2Y, which is therefore 2 times X minus Y, which is 2 times APB. So you can see that this proof is slightly different from the other two where the other two we were just adding the whole time. This time you had to see that the one was included in the other one and therefore you had to subtract them. Now grade 11s, we are going to do examples where we practice using these theorems, but you need to know the proof. I guarantee you that between now and the end of matric you will have to prove this proof at least once in your exams. Please go practice, 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 make sure you understand and can do all three versions and then we will carry on with doing some practice examples in the next lesson. Have a lovely day.